Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and welcome to this week's Mundo Monday. If you're not familiar with Mundo Monday, it's once a week where we celebrate all the people of the world by reading their stories. So today we are going to learn about a Muslim holiday called Ramadan, which begins tonight and lasts until next month, May 12th. So we're going to learn a little bit about it first by reading some excerpts from this nonfiction book called Cultural Celebrations, Ramadan, and this is written by Rachel Hamby. Ramadan is a holy month for Muslims. It begins on a different date every year. This is because the Islamic calendar follows the moon. Each month begins with a new moon. Ramadan is the ninth month of the calendar. During Ramadan, Muslims do not eat or drink when the sun is up. They practice other traditions too. For example, people make extra efforts to be kind to others. They often give to charity. Ramadan ends when a new moon is seen. A group of religious leaders watch the sky. If they see a new moon, Ramadan is over. If not, the fasting lasts another day. A new moon occurs when the moon is between earth and the sun. It is difficult to see. Moon watchers look for a thin crescent moon at sunset. So that's a little bit about Ramadan. Let's read this book about it. It's called Night of the Moon, and this is by Haina Khan. Night of the Moon. It was bedtime, and Yasmin waited for her mom to read her a story as she did every night. But this night was different. Mom came into her room and pulled back the curtains that hung over the window. Come and take a look at the moon, she said. What's so special about the moon, Yasmin wondered. See for yourself, Mom said. That tiny little line, Yasmin asked as she squinted into the darkness. I can hardly see it. That's because it's the moon's first crescent, Mom said. It means a new month is beginning. Can you see what she was looking for? The moon, that tiny, thin line of light there? A new month, Yasmin asked, but it's only the 17th. It's a new month in the Islamic calendar, which is based on the moon, Mom explained. Long ago, people used the shape of the moon to keep track of days. They'd watch the moon grow bigger till it was full, then smaller till it disappeared. When the moon reappeared, a new month would begin. Like tonight, Yasmin said. Exactly. And do you know what month is starting tonight? Mom asked. The month of Ramadan, Yasmin answered. Yasmin had been looking forward to Ramadan. It was a time filled with delicious foods, new clothes, lots of parties, and her favorite thing ever, presents. At school the next day, Yasmin was proud when her class had a discussion about Ramadan. Her teacher, Mr. Sanchez, told the class, during the month of Ramadan, many Muslim people fast each day. Does anyone know what that means? Yasmin did. It means you don't eat or drink anything all day long, she shared. You wake up before sunrise to eat, and then you don't have anything else until the sun goes down. Everyone had lots of questions about fasting. They especially wanted to know if kids had to do it. Little kids don't fast, Yasmin said, but maybe I'll try it for a day next year. Yasmin imagined a day without lunch or snacks or even a drink of water. That afternoon, while Yasmin and her little brother, Bila, had snacks at home, Yasmin asked her mom if fasting was hard. It can be hard sometimes, but I don't mind, Mom answered. Fasting helps me remember to be grateful for the food I have and to be more patient. As the sun slowly started to go down in the sky, Yasmin helped Mom pile a plate high with fresh dates and prepare a pitcher of milk. These were the traditional foods to eat after the fast. Finally, sunset came and Dad passed around the dates and said a little prayer. Everyone bit into the sweet, chewy fruits together, and the first fast of Ramadan was over. Then it was time for a special dinner with everyone's favorite foods. 
That weekend, Yasmin's family went to her cousin Hamza's house for, for the first of many Ramadan parties. Her aunt and uncle served a big dinner of beef kebabs, grilled vegetables, and fresh bread. Then there were tons of desserts, everything from chocolate fudge cake to rice pudding. After dinner, Yasmin peeked out the window at the moon. It looked like it was stuffed with good food, too, so, since it was now a thick crescent. You see the thicker crescent here? The next week, Mom and Dad spent hours in the kitchen, cooking up huge pots of food to bring to the mosque. Yasmin and Bilal made cupcakes, too. Ramadan is a time for sharing, Dad explained. Not everyone has as much to eat as we do. The mosque was filled with people that weekend, and soon all of the cupcakes were gone. As Yasmin walked outside after evening prayers, she felt good about helping others. She looked up at the moon, which was half full now, like a half-eaten cupcake. The days of Ramadan quickly flew by. Every night, Yasmin looked for the moon. One night, when Grandma was visiting, she and Yasmin went for a walk after dinner. Together, they saw that the moon was a brilliant circle. It's so pretty, said Yasmin, wishing she, wishing she could see it closer. Subhanallah, said Grandma. That was what Grandma said whenever she saw something wonderful. It was her way of being thankful for beautiful things. The full moon meant that Ramadan was already half over. Yasmin couldn't believe it. The next weekend, it was time for Yasmin's family to have a Ramadan party. Lots of friends and family came over in the evening for a big backyard barbecue. Dad set up a trampoline in the yard, and Yasmin, Bila, and Humza took turns leaping toward the stars, pretending they were on the moon. Meanwhile, a real half moon shone in the sky. Over the next week, Yasmin watched as the moon slowly changed to a crescent and then to a thin line. The month of Ramadan was coming to an end. Finally, one night, the sky was moonless. As hard as she looked into the blackness outside her window, Yasmin couldn't find the moon at all. There's no more moon, Yasmin announced to her family. Yasmin couldn't wait for tomorrow when the moon's first crescent would appear for a very special night the night of the moon. The night of the moon meant that Ramadan was over and the following day would be the holiday of Eid. When the sun set the next evening, Yasmin's family went to the community center for a night of the moon celebration. Decorated with lights and shiny balloons, the place looked magical. There were lots of stalls where people sold clothes, jewelry, toys, snacks, and gifts from different countries. Yasmin bought some green and metal bangles from India that jingled on her wrist. Bilal got a red hat with a big tassel that came from Turkey, and Mom picked out new clothes for the family to wear on Eid, including a pretty green dress for Yasmin. Later that night, Yasmin had her hands painted with henna paste. In a beautiful pattern with moons and stars, the paste left a dark orange dye on her palms that would last for about a week and then fade away. Yasmin was excited to show her friends at school. See the beautiful patterns painted on her hands? When the family got home that night, Yasmin caught a glimpse of the moon's first crescent. So thin, it was like a faint line of chalk in the sky. Next morning, Yasmin woke up to the sound of Bilal shouting, Eid Mubarak! This is the traditional greeting of Eid, a very happy day for Muslims all over the world. After a big breakfast together, Yasmin and her family dressed up in their new clothes and went to the mosque for Eid prayers. Everyone gathered on the lawn to wish each other a happy holiday and exchanged the three hugs of Eid. Then Yasmin's family visited friends and relatives for the rest of the day. Everywhere they went, Yasmin and Bilal received little gifts of money called Eid. For Yasmin, though, the best part of the holiday, better than henna, the new dress, and all of the Eid money she collected, was the surprise she got at bedtime. Mom and Dad called her into the family room, 
and handed her a big box wrapped in shiny silver paper. It's an Eid present, Yasmin, Mom said, smiling, to help you watch for Ramadan to come again next year. Yasmin tore the paper off the box. It was a huge telescope. She stayed up late with Dad putting it together and setting it up in her bedroom. Then she took a look at the sky from the window, and this is what she saw. Subhanallah, Yasmin whispered as she looked at the wonderful moon. She couldn't wait for Ramadan next year. The end. That was Night of the Moon, a Muslim holiday story by Henna Khan. I hope you learned a little bit about Ramadan during this week's Mundo Monday. I also wanted to share with you this cookbook that we have in the Youth Services Department, it's called Cooking the Middle Eastern Way. It's in our nonfiction section, and there are some uh, recipes in here for food that they would make at Ramadan, for food that would be made at Ramadan. So, for example, this one here is red lentil soup, which I personally love, and I'm going to try this recipe because I do love a good red lentil soup. And there's also these yummy looking cookies that are made during Ramadan, sesame cookies. They have sesame seeds and honey and butter and pistachios. They sound really yummy. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about Ramadan, you can check out this book here, Cele Cultural Celebrations, Ramadan. You can check out our Middle Eastern cookbook so you can learn some foods that are made during Ramadan. And of course, you can check out not just Night of the Moon, but we have several other books on the Ramadan holiday if you'd like to learn a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed this week's Mundo Monday, and I hope you will join me next week. Bye for now.